pretty sure most of you use these apps every single day. Well, you must be aware of the basic options. There are some settings that you should change right away to enhance your experience with these apps. My phone's gallery is filled with all these good morning and good night photos and a lot of viral videos too. Deleting them regularly is a very huge task. But WhatsApp has a setting that saves us from this trouble. In WhatsApp chat settings, there is an option called Show Media in the Gallery. Just disable it. And none of the WhatsApp media will be shown in the gallery. However, if you want to save WhatsApp photos from a particular person or group, there is a way to do that. You can go to the person profile. In the person profile, just tap on the media visibility option. Then you can select yes and any media sent by the person will be saved in your gallery. Instagram is really addictive. There are times when I am just scrolling and watching videos endlessly. There is always the export page too which makes me to stick to it. Well, if you are as addicted as me, there is an option on Instagram to limit the time you waste on it. There is a your activity option in the profile which shows the daily average time you spent on Instagram and even also as an option to set a reminder. I just set it to 55 minutes. When my time is up, Instagram will send me a reminder just like this. I can still skip it and keep Instagramming, but at least now I will be weighed on by some guilt. You probably watch a lame video on YouTube. And next thing you know, your whole homepage and recommendations is filled with the similar lame videos. The good news is, YouTube has an incognito mode. In the YouTube app, just tap on profile button. Where you can see, turn on incognito mode. You can just turn it and you can watch whatever you want without getting your home page and recommendations get messed up. And your search history and watch history is not saved. Do you know Chrome has a dedicated reading mode, which is called Simplified View. Well, you can enable it in accessibility settings. When you open an article, you will see many ads. To get rid of them, you can go to Simplified View. After opening any article, you will find Simplified View option at the bottom. Tap on it. In this, you cannot find any ad and make reading experience better. In Gmail app, you probably seen these swipe gestures, which by default might not be so handy for you. But did you know, you can actually customize these swipe gestures to different actions. In Gmail general settings, there is an option called swipe action. Here you can set the right swipe according to your preference. In the same way, you can select the left swipe according to your preference. There are times you need to send sensitive information like passcodes, account details to others. That's where Gmail's confidential mode comes into play. In the compose page in the Gmail app, just tap on the three dots menu button and tap on confidential mode. Now you can set an expiration for the for the mail after which it is self-destructed.
you can also set a passcode for the mail google will send the passcode to the recipient via sms so it is pretty secure notification previews are useful but not so much when somebody next to you is creeping well not many people know that you can actually hide notification previews in facebook messenger you can just go to the facebook messenger settings here in the notifications and sounds page just disable sounds notification previews now when you receive the notification or even its chat head won't reveal the message 